state and private structures of the Russian Federation are massively purchasing anti-drone equipment. According to Glavred media outlet, the main thing, the Russian authorities expect that Ukrainian drones will soon attack the Far East. The Russians have already spent more than 80 million rubles on anti-drone equipment. Recently, information appeared about the increased preparation of the authorities of the Russia for future attacks by drones on Ukraine deep into the Russian Federation. As reported by Russian media, state structures spend insane sums on this. Judging by the data on the public procurement website, Russia no longer expects that Ukraine will get away with attacks on the border regions of the Russian Federation. The enemy is preparing for drone strikes even on objects in the Far East, the Urals and Siberia. As of now, the Russians have already spent 841 million rubles on anti-drone equipment, of which 411 million in the Urals, 90 million in Siberia and 340 million in the Far East. In total, this is 22 times more than last year. What is interesting is that the heads of airports, oil depots and enterprises in the oil and energy sectors are most afraid of Ukrainian drone strikes. They spend large sums of money on anti-drone equipment, even for businesses in the Arctic Circle. This is not the first time Russia has been shaken by explosions. The border regions, from where rockets are launched towards mainland Ukraine, are the most reached. The Ukrainian special services do not hide the fact that they often strike with drones at Russian military industrial complex facilities, in particular training grounds, airfields and factories. This list was supplemented by the critical infrastructure of the Russian Federation, which serves the forces of the invaders. Now, according to Kirill Budanov, the head of the Ukrainian civil service, the Russian civilian population is finally seeing the real picture of the war. They see burning oil depots, destroyed plant and factory buildings. All this is beneficial, he said. We will remind you that on the night of October the 23rd, Ukrainian soldiers attacked the Novoshakti refinery in the Rostov region of the Russian Federation for the second time. The defense forces also tested the strength of the air defense of the temporarily occupied Crimea. The day before, as reported by Glavred, on the night of October the 22nd, drones attacked four Russian factories, three of which are officially engaged in the production of alcohol. Although, in fact, the Russian Federation uses these facilities for the production of fuel for military needs and explosives. Earlier, as a result of an attack by Ukrainian drones on the Sverdlov plant in Russian Zazinsk, which produces explosives, one of the company's workshops was damaged. An attack on an Iranian police convoy Saturday in the country's restive southern province of Sistan and Balakestan killed at least 10 officers, authorities said. Details remain scarce over the attack in Goharku, some 1,200 kilometers southeast of the Iranian capital, Tehran. Initially, reports simply described an attack by miscreants without more information. But shortly after, Iranian state media said 10 officers had been killed. Halvash, an advocacy group for the Baluk people of Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan, posted photos and video of what appeared to be a disabled truck painted with the green stripe used by Iranian police vehicles. One graphic photo shared by the group showed what appeared to be the corpses of two police officers in the front seat of the truck. Halvash said the attack appeared to target two security force vehicles and all those riding in them were killed. The truck appeared to have only damage from bullets, rather than any explosive being used. The state-run Erna News Agency said that Iskander Momani, the country's interior minister, ordered an investigation into the incident that it described as causing the martyrdom of a number of police. Authorities identified no immediate suspects for the attack, nor did any group claim responsibility. The assault came after Israel launched a major attack across Iran early Saturday morning. The Baluk regions across the three nations have faced a low-level insurgency by Baluk nationalists for more than two decades. Verifying information remains difficult in Iran's Sistan and Baluchistan, which for decades has been home to violence involving heroin traffickers. The province is one of the least developed parts of Iran. Relations between the predominantly Sunni Muslim residents of the region and Iran's Shiite theocracy have long been strained. Typical attacks involve hit-and-run assaults by militants in the region, 
like the Sunni militant group Jayish al-ADL, that kill a few security officials at a time. However, there have been mass casualty attacks by militants in the past. In April, gunmen wearing explosive vests attacked several sites in the province, killing 10 before security forces gunned down 18 militants. Last December, another assault killed 11 and wounded 8 others. Meanwhile, the Taliban said they are investigating reports that Afghan migrants had been killed by Iranian security forces in the region earlier in October, an incident that threatened to further strain relations between the nations.